right so today i have five tips on grooming your rabbit and if your rabbit has started molting just like crazy has done hopefully some of these tips will be really useful for you so getting straight into the video with tip number one have your rabbit on a comfortable surface where they can't run away this is so important because it'll make grooming a rabbit so much easier and it'll also keep the rabbit calm especially if they're not a massive fan of being groomed because i know that some rabbits absolutely hate being groomed tip number two focus on areas where your rabbit actually grooms itself as removing loose fur from these areas can help to prevent your rabbit from later ingesting loose fur while they're grooming themselves ingesting loose fur could eventually lead to a hairball so by focusing on these areas first you're reducing the chances of your rabbit ingesting their own fur Tip number three, try to keep your rabbit occupied during grooming as this makes life so much easier for you. Provide them with leafy greens to munch on while you remove as much fur as you can. This way you can get the grooming done much quicker and still have a happy and relaxed rabbit. Tip number four, grooming isn't just about making your rabbits look pretty, it's also about discovering any lumps and bumps that you may not have noticed beforehand. Rabbits are really, really good at covering up illness, so by taking a look and feeling around your rabbit's fur, you're able to discover any underlying health problems such as fleas or mites, and if you do discover anything, please take it straight to your vet. And the fifth and final tip is try to be as gentle as possible when grooming and only use brushes designed for rabbits. I use a slicker brush, it's one of my favourite brushes to use because it picks up so much fur. During shedding season you should be aiming to groom on a daily basis, otherwise it's ideal to groom a rabbit about 2-3 to three times per week and daily with angora rabbits. If you do notice small tufts of fur, give them a gentle nudge and this should come straight out. Your rabbit probably won't even notice that you've done anything. Make sure that they're loose in the first place though, and if not, gently continue grooming to loosen every piece of fur you can, as this will speed up shedding. So I really hope you enjoy this video, and I hope that these tips are useful for you, especially if your rabbit has started molting. So thank you for watching everyone, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!